seven ways to overcome lust and temptation. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, seven ways to overcome lust and temptation. Okay. See, this right here is going to be one of those topics that a lot of people probably don't like. Okay. But listen, y'all, I made videos not to be tickled and feel good. Okay. I made videos not for your flesh, but for your spirit. Okay. I made videos to feed your soul. And so with this right here, y'all, this is going to be a very important video. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned in to the very end of this video. All right. Now, let's just speak about what lust and temptation is. Okay. So this, the correct definition for lust is is a very strong sexual desire okay understand that a very strong sexual desire temptation is the desire to do something especially something wrong or unwise all right how many of y'all is right there currently have ever have been there okay and if you haven't been there you will be there at some point all right why because we are human beings okay but go ahead and drop in the comments if you've been through that y'all okay lust and temptation this right here is a real life video all right um we're gonna go ahead and get into the seven ways to overcome this demonic and evil spirit okay but before we do so y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel yes sir and not only that y'all y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. So the first way of overcoming lust and temptation is going to be this, y'all. Identify the triggers, okay? Let me say it louder for the chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, identify the triggers, okay? You have to know your enemy, all right? Uh, know, know the things that send you there, okay? Know the things that make you, you know, want to indulge into lust and temptation. Understand that, y'all. Know your vices, okay? And don't be fooled. All right, I'm going to read the scripture later on, y'all, to let you know exactly what that means. But let me just speak on identifying your triggers. You have to know what you got to stay away from. Yep. <laughs> you got to know what's not good for you. Okay, because a lot of times, y'all, we put ourselves in positions, right? We put ourselves in situations and we don't quite understand or have not identified you know why we should not be around that particular thing so for you okay maybe that's women all right if, if i'm talking to the men uh for you that may be men if i'm speaking to the women right now right um it could be certain foods okay yes it can be certain foods okay um just all the way around y'all you have to be mindful of what you're lusting uh lustful thoughts okay um and you have to be mindful of your vices and i want to speak on this right here y'all porn okay what does that cause masturbation all right so you know lust comes in different forms shapes and sizes right um but a big one is porn okay and a lot of times y'all it's destroying our mindset it is an illusion okay the things that you see on that porn video i get it it may look good it may look great all right but sometimes it causes you or what porn does is it causes you to want that from your spouse or your partner and when you don't get it it causes you to want to do what fall victim to temptation and cheat okay fall victim to temptation or and, and indulge with someone else who you know you shouldn't be laying down with why because not only can you catch a sexual transmitted disease but you can catch a spiritual transmitted disease mm. somebody drop in the comments and say you won't get me yes sir make sure you drop in the comments family and say you won't get me because this is what the enemy wants you to fall victim of so right here y'all in the scripture i was telling y'all about earlier it's going to be second corinthians chapter 11 okay verse 13 verse 15 all right uh verse 13 through 15 it says this right here y'all it says for such are false apostles deceitful workers transforming themselves into apostles of christ and no wonder for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel, okay? Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness whose end will be according to their works, okay? And so this is what I meant by don't be fooled, right? Because the enemy or Satan can transform himself into something that you think you need. Mm. 
So you have to identify your trigger because that can be the very trigger that sends you there. Okay, Brenda, what do you mean by send me there? That's the one that gets you to fall victim, fall short of the temptation. Okay, so listen, y'all, this is the first way to overcome lust and temptation. Understand your enemy, identify your triggers, all right? Um, secondly, y'all, the second way to overcome lust and temptation is gonna be this, y'all. Avoid your triggers, okay? Avoid your triggers. Now, we're not going to spend too much time on this because I think it's self-explanatory, right? When y'all agree, but you have to know what to avoid, okay? Whenever you ride on the interstate, don't nobody have to tell you to avoid going the opposite way, okay? Like, why would, why would you need to be reminded, hey, don't go the opposite way? Nah, you see them cars coming at 80 miles per hour. You see them cars coming at 100 miles per hour, and it can get real bad and tragic. All right. But follow what I'm saying, y'all. You must avoid your trigger. So, again, if you know you are a porn addict, stay away from porn. Don't go searching it up. If you see it on Facebook, scroll right past it. Avoid the trigger. OK, because once it's like a scab, once you, you know, pull that scab or peel that scab back, what happens? It began to bleed and then it healed again. All right. You pull it back. It began to bleed. And it's an ongoing process and cycle. So understand something. Y'all avoid the trigger. Somebody drop in the comments and repeat after me. Avoid triggers. OK, drop in the comments, family, and say avoid triggers. This right here is a big and powerful one. Right. This is the start of you overcoming that lust and that temptation by avoiding it, keeping yourself out of the situation. Last thing I sell on uh, avoiding the trigger, y'all, is this right here. That's like a woman who knows who uh, she's not as mentally and emotionally strong and um, physically strong when she get up under the influence of alcohol. Right. So let me say this. Why would that woman you know, put herself in a position knowing she got a boyfriend or a husband, you know, or maybe she's just going celibate for the for the for the meantime, right? Why would she put herself in a position to be around something that she lusts and she likes and she wants sexually and always and you up under the influence of alcohol? You gotta avoid the trigger, sister. You gotta avoid the trigger, lady. You have to. Why is that? Because if you don't avoid the trigger, you put yourself in position to not overcome the lust and not overcome the temptation. Okay, that makes sense, y'all. If that makes sense, y'all drop in the comments and let me know. But moving on to the third way to overcome lust and temptation, it's going to be this, y'all. Renew your mind. Okay, let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, you must renew your mind. Okay, somebody drop in the comments and say renew your mind. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say renew your mind. All right. This right here is a big one, y'all. So think of your mind as a computer. OK, y'all remember back in the day in the computer where we used to search up uh, music or download music on line wire, frost wire. And if you go all the way back, it probably was some other type of uh, device or some other type of app. But whenever we utilize line wire and frost wire to get our best songs, right? Um, it would sometimes bring, you know, viruses on the computer, okay? Sometimes you can put a virus in your mind by downloading the pornography, okay? By watching other people have sex with other people, by clicking on the Twitter links on Facebook. Yep, I be seeing them too, y'all, okay? By, you know, indulging into the things that would turn you into an addict, not for the good, but for the bad, all right? Understand something, y'all. You have to uninstall, reprogram. OK, and not only that, y'all, but delete some of these apps that is on your mind. OK, you got to get away from it. And so whenever you begin to renew your mind, you begin to train your mind to think differently. All right. If that makes sense, y'all drop in the comments once again and say renew your mind. And so I want to get to the scripture right here, y'all. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Once again, y'all, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And I think I've read this before, but, you know, it kind of connects with this as well. And so it says, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. All right. Follow what I'm saying, y'all. As you begin to renew your mind, as you begin to transform your mind from worldly ways and worldly thinking. All right. Then you begin to have better apps on your on your on your computer. Remember, you begin to have better ways of thinking. You begin to redevelop your mind. All right. So understand that your mind is just like a computer. And if you have the wrong apps on there, you can cause it to get a virus. 
all right so with that being said y'all renew your mind and you will definitely be able to overcome lust as well as temptation okay uh number four it's gonna be this y'all discipline all right discipline y'all know why we like watching sports you know football players tennis players golf you know um just sports in general y'all know why we like watching it because they are disciplined right they are disciplined to run these plays they are disciplined to practice they are disciplined to work out they are disciplined and so us as human beings we salute discipline okay um i'm not gonna say worship but you know we commend discipline okay and we, we just love seeing a disciplined person when you look at people who, uh, who does karate or some type of martial arts it takes discipline and that's what we commend as human beings so you have to do the same thing with yourself you have to discipline yourself and tell yourself hey i'm not smoking weed nope hey i'm, I'm not drinking drink no more nope hey i'm not you know i'm not indulging into sexual activities no more nope I have, I have no desire, you know, to have sex with Keisha, uh, Keisha no more, okay? The person that's at your job, you want to have sex with them so bad. You got to have yourself in a disciplined mind state, all right? So you're not taking yourself there. And again, y'all, this goes back to it. Identify your trigger and avoid your trigger, okay? But right here in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 17, it says this right here, family. It says, he who keeps instruction is in the way of life. But he who refuses correction goes astray, okay? Um, I know you're probably thinking, well, Rena, why does it say he who keeps instruction is in the way of life? You would think that that's a bad way. No, he says that you are on your way to living a better life. That's what he's saying. And then right here, y'all, where he says, uh, but he who refuses correction goes astray. You would think that, oh, man, isn't that what he mean or meant on the first part of that scripture? No, y'all. He says, but he who refuses correction goes astray. So with that being said, it's clear as day. He's telling you. If you do not live a wise life, if you refuse correction, then you will go astray because now you're being led on a path of destruction. Okay, so follow what I'm saying, y'all. Um, discipline is definitely going to be a way to overcome lust as well as temptation. All right. Uh, moving on to the next one, family. Number five. Okay, it's going to be cultivate healthier relationships. All right. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back cultivate healthier relationships and so again y'all like the scripture says bad associations for useful habits so you want to be able to cultivate you know and grow healthier relationships all right if you are hanging around people you know who talk about sex all day they horn dogs they horny all day all they want to do is watch porn all they want to do is go to the club you know and see who they can take back home for my fellas you know all she want to do is talk about how she can get on this man tip and do this with this man and you know all these type of things sister you got to stay away from it you have to cultivate healthier relationships understand what i'm saying y'all and so this right here is very important you know on your journey you know with christ on your journey with god on your journey you know with coming with becoming more disciplined you know and stand on the right and uh full path of success and not only that y'all but having the right mindset all right you got to develop and cultivate healthier relationships when you're talking about defeating lust and temptation because you know what's worse than one person who's overcoming or uh who's incapable of overcoming lust and temptation you know what's worse seven people three people four people two people why is that because again, y'all, you become what you hang around. And so if you are around individuals, you know, who are uh, battling lust and battling, you know, uh, temptation, and they don't even care to identify and acknowledge and accept the fact so they can resolve it, guess what? You're going to be just like them with no structure and no sense of direction. And you're going to fall into the same thing. And before you know it, you'll be in bed with the next man. You'll be sleeping with the next woman. And you'll be going, it, it'll be an ongoing cycle, y'all. So overcome lust and overcome, you know, uh, temptation, y'all. Simple as that. Uh, number six is going to be this, y'all. Hold yourself accountable. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family. Hold yourself accountable, all right? You know, y'all, one of the best and worst songs ever made in the hip-hop culture in in United States and throughout the whole world, y'all, is Blame It On The Alcohol by Jamie Foxx. Listen, y'all, I like Jamie Foxx. I think he's very talented. But this particular song right here, y'all, it's one of the best and worst songs. Why? 
because nobody was taking accountability. We blaming it on the alcohol. No, you got to blame it on yourself, okay? Blame it on yourself, all right? Because the moment you blame it on something, someone else, you take no accountability, which means you don't hold yourself accountable or responsible whenever you fall victim to lust. Mm -hmm. Whenever you fall victim to, you know, temptation. You know it's wrong. You know it's an unwise decision. You already know this. However, you still fall short and you still do it. Why? Because that lust is controlling your life. Temptation is controlling your life, okay? It's no different, y'all. I used to be an Uber driver. And as I was driving, you know, you walking, you are uh, driving around, you see McDonald's, you see KFC, you see uh, uh, Old Charlie's, Applebee's, I mean, every single thing. And you smell it too. So let's just say I told myself, nah, man, you're not doing it today. You're going to eat the sandwiches you packed in your bag, right? Well, the moment you get to smelling that, that food, now you got yourself a whole nother battle. Mm -hmm. You got yourself a whole nother battle. All right. Now, what if I say, ah, oh, man, it's because I keep driving and I just keep smelling the food. It ain't my fault. It's KFC fault. It, it's, it's McDonald's fault. It's Burger King fault. Listen, the moment you start having that mentality, you take no accountability, which means you're going to fall victim to it again. You're just going to keep blaming it on other people. Why? Because it's comfortable. OK, it's comfortable. And I say this all the time, y'all, but in order to make any type of change, in order to have any type of success, you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. All right. And so with that being said, y'all, that is another way to overcome lust as well as temptation. OK, but moving on to the next one, y'all, which is the last one. And that's going to be number seven. Ask yourself this question. Does this align with my God given mission? Let me say it once again, because I know that's a long one. But number seven is ask yourself this question. Does this align with my God given mission? Yup. Anytime you ask yourself this question and anytime you can simply say, no, it doesn't align. <laughs> then you got your answer. You know exactly what you should be doing. OK, this is going to help you overcome lust as well as temptation. All right. Understand what I'm saying, y'all. This will help you overcome lust and temptation by asking yourself this simple question. Does it align with my God-given mission? See, right here, y'all, in the scripture, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 30, it says this right here, family. It says, moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called. Whom he called, these he also justified. And whom he justified, these he also glorified. Listen, y'all. Did he glorify that lust? I'll wait. Did he justify that lust? I will wait. And did he predestine, okay, or call that temptation? I think not. And so this is a great question to ask yourself. Does this align with my God-given mission? Okay? Understand something, y'all. This is how you can overcome, all right, lust and temptation and so with that being said y'all we're going to go ahead and do a recap and then we'll conclude this video so seven ways to overcome lust and temptation number one identify triggers number two avoid triggers number three renew your mind number four discipline number five cultivate healthier relationships number six hold yourself accountable and number seven ask yourself does this align with my God-given mission? Okay? And so with that being said, y'all, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. But before I get up out of here, if you would like to purchase any one of my books, enroll into my social influence course, or book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can do so by clicking the link inside my description. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality